This is what the screen looked like before the repair. S cracks, splat, splotches. The first step is to uh, remove four screws that hold a bit the bezel cover over the display. Top two screws are easy. They're, all four screws are covered by small rubber plugs held on by adhesive. At this point, I only removed the top two screws as I thought perhaps I could snap off the cover and uh, get access to the display enough as I've had seen in other videos. After removing the screw, you still have to unsnap the bezel cover. And then I discovered that uh, I was going to have to remove the bottom screws. The problem with the bottom screws is they're at an angle that they're very hard to get at, uh, considering the position of the rest of the, the, the main portion of the computer case. <laughs> I like to put spare parts or screws and things in a small medicine container. Prescription uh, bottle. Keep them from getting lost. And you kind of unsnap the front bezel cover. Then the next step is removing four screws at each corner that hold a metal bracket that in turn holds the, the actual display. Then there's some tape that holds the, uh, there's a cable that runs up to the wireless antenna. It's taped on, it's held by tape to the display. Then uh, you have to disconnect the uh, little 40 pin min sub miniature connector, and I regret I don't have more details. I didn't get a good close up on this. It's held on by a piece of capped on tape. Uh, it has to be cut through uh, very carefully with a razor blade knife cut on the metal and the two metal parts of the connector come off. Then there are two uh, metal brackets on each end of the display each held on by four screws. Then those metal brackets are then screwed into the new display. Each again, four screws on each side. Then you reconnect the uh, 40 minutes or 40 sub miniature 40 pin connector. And I probably should have put a, put a piece of tape over that to hold it on. Uh, a, a little an exacto knife helps to uh, slide the pieces of the connector together. And put the display back and reinstall the four screws at each corner. And be sure to use the inside set of screws because the outside set of holes at each corner are the ones that the uh, bezel cover will be held on with.
And finally, I'll replace the... Actually, at this point, I decided to do a power on test. Um, verify that everything was working. Then, snap the front bezel cover back in place. And this took a little bit of doing. This was maybe, besides the connector, this was maybe the most complicated part. Getting that bezel cover placed, snap back exactly into place. But then once it's finally positioned right, it snaps back, has snaps all around. And then it's just a matter of uh, reinstalling the four screws that hold the front bezel cover on and putting the four uh, rubber covers back over those. Again, the two bottom screws are the hardest to get to because they're at a bad angle to the bottom of the cabinet. And here's proof that the new display works.